iOS 18.5 Developer Beta 2 is officially available today and in this video I'm going to be telling you all the new features and changes that this new software update has to offer. The update size on my iPhone 16 Pro comes in at exactly 1.02 gigs. Along this update, Apple also released Beta 2 versions of WatchOS 11.5, VisionOS 2.5 and all these other updates that you see right here. In terms of what's new, when you open up the Apple News application for the first time and you go to the food section, there's going to be a new pop-up screen to tell you about food recipes. The new build number we have on file is 22F5053F so it does end with an F as well and this means we are expecting more betas. This update also provides a fix for the AirPods Max lossless audio and ultra low latency for users with the USB-C AirPods Max. In the Apple Mail app, when categories are enabled, we have a visual representation to show all mail unlike before where it was sort of a hidden tab. Also in the Mail app, when you click on the three dots, you still have the option to show contact photos and you can enable or disable it from there without going into the settings. Unfortunately, a feature has been removed that used to allow us to be able to delete all photos in the deleted folder now we just have filter option and viewing option hopefully this comes back this update fixes an issue where the Apple Care and warranty page would actually load infinitely for certain users you can see now it loads up and the text and font has been updated and it loads fast when you click on a specific product if you have an Apple watch on April 24 if you close all your rings there's a special award that you can actually be able to get unfortunately unlike the joint control center connectivity toggle the single one actually isn't dynamic in the sense that it doesn't show the current state of the network indicator at the top different users have reported that they are experiencing jittery notifications when it comes to this tab for the iPhone 16 lineup there's a new modem firmware version that's here to fix most of your connectivity issues you might have had there's a fix for the Apple Vision Pro application that wouldn't work properly and at the same time if you're experiencing issues when it comes to writing tools or dictation that has now been resolved on my test iPhone 16 Pro even though I have Apple intelligence turned on this update unfortunately disables the cool Apple intelligent animation and I'm back to the old boring one iOS 18.5 5 beta 3 might be coming out next week monday or tuesday and between that we might also get ios 18.4.1 released to the public officially if you want to keep up to date definitely follow for more